You know, I woke up one morning and I turned on the news and I thought, we've got to do something and do something serious. For Donna Shalala, the former University of Miami president and Health and Human Services secretary under Bill Clinton, that something serious is running for the congressional seat being vacated by Ileana ross Leighton. We're facing the test of who we are. It's so fundamental. It really is about the character of the country and how we treat each other and how we're seen by the rest of the world. With Ross Layton out of Congress, Democrats see this as an easy seat to win. Hillary Clinton won the district by 20 points. And because of that, Shalala enters an already crowded field with six other Democrats vying to be the Democratic nominee. I think I'm the strongest candidate. I think I can serve the people of Miami. I think I could hit the ground running going to Washington. I know something about Washington. I certainly know the issues and the issues that people in this community care about. She said she wants to increase federal funding for education. Everything that the Trump administration has done is to take resources away from our public schools. She also wants to increase funding for health care and to make sure the most vulnerable are protected. Who ever heard of a president that wanted to cut food stamps or Medicaid or a political party that wanted to cut Medicare? What I want to make sure which our governor seems to forget, is that we pay taxes to Washington. We ought to get our fair share back. Immigration reform, she says, is a personal matter for her. My grandmother actually got turned away at Ellis Island. She came around and snuck across the Mexican border. My Lebanese grandmother. We have a large number of people in this country that have no chance of getting citizenship. and We have to find a pathway. So all the roughly estimates are 12 million people. About you, 12 million people. You would find a way for a path Absolutely. for all 12 million to become U.S. citizens. Absolutely. A poll commissioned by Shalala shows she has strong name recognition and is well ahead of her opponents. But she is not without potential problems. In 2006, the janitors at UM attempted to unionize. A well-publicized hunger strike ensued as Shalala was slow to address the problem. Well, I've always been on the side of the janitors. And I've always been on the side of the workers at the university. And you can ask any one of them whether I've always been on their side. That it took too long, admittedly. Her ties to Bill and Hillary Clinton will make her a lightning rod for conservatives across the country as well and could help her opponents raise money against her. Her response? Bring it on. They've been friends of mine before they were married, by the way. I don't need the Clinton machine. I'm very proud of my relationship with them. I think the Clinton Foundation is extraordinary. I'm going to use the Shalala machine. I know thousands of people in this district. Most of them are quite young because they graduated from the University of Miami.